Mike Tyson's mind has switched over into war. Joe Rogan, known for his outspoken opinions, made a bold statement on his latest podcast after seeing the recent training footage of Mike Tyson. Ah! Day three, you still want to with me? Rogan has strongly urged Jake Paul to cancel his upcoming fight with Mike Tyson immediately. Rogan believes that stepping into the ring with Tyson could be extremely dangerous for Paul. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish you. In the podcast, Rogan didn't hold back. He expressed serious concerns for Jake Paul's safety, stating that the fear of death is very real if Paul goes ahead with the fight. Rogan described Tyson's training as intense. He was fucking terrifying. He was so fast. And he would do angles and he was bobbing and weaving. You couldn't hit him. And he was just coming at you. It's said that the former heavyweight champion looks as powerful and dangerous as ever. You have to understand, Rogan continued, Tyson has been through countless wars in the ring. He knows how to inflict damage. Despite Jake Paul's recent success in boxing, he doesn't have the same level of experience or toughness. Rogan believes that no amount of training can prepare Paul for what Tyson brings to the table. Paul, right now, I would be shitting my pants. Oh, bro. It's all the experiences that he has had as a conqueror. You have to take those into consideration. When a man has smashed men before, just smashed men, like when no one can stand in front of him, that is in his mind still. On his podcast, Joe Rogan emphasized that the best thing Jake Paul can do right now is cancel his fight with Mike Tyson. He bluntly stated, do you want to die that easily? Someone said to him, he goes, he goes, you look like you're in your 20s. Like, what are you doing? He goes, I just eat raw meat. He's not eating raw meat. He goes, you're eating raw meat? He goes, yeah, I'm eating raw meat. He goes, because that's what I'm going to eat when I fight. Then cancel the fight and focus on other things. Maybe go back to being a YouTube star. That suits you better. Rockin also made another statement about Mike Tyson, this time regarding Tyson's eating habits. Rockin mentioned that Tyson's skill in the ring is already terrifying, but what he eats makes him even scarier. Revealing that Tyson likes to eat his meat raw, Rogan exclaimed, Yes, you've heard that right, raw. Don't give a f if you think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. If Jake Paul's on the other side of the ring and he sees Mike Tyson just bobbing and weaving, he's going to have a, a recognition. Yeah. He's going to look over. Rogan explained that Tyson believes eating raw meat is what makes him strong. This unusual diet is just another reason why Rogan thinks Jake Paul should cancel the fight now. If a person eats raw meat, wouldn't you have any fear at all? Rogan asked. He said that if this is the guy Jake Paul is going to deal with, then he is not facing a normal person. He is facing the God. Rogan believes that the version of Tyson who knocked out Marcus Frazier is the best heavyweight boxer ever. Even though Tyson will be 58 when he faces Jake Paul, Rogan is confident that the boxing legend won't have lost all his skills. Even at an older age, Tyson still possesses the power and technique that made him a legend. If I were Jake Paul, he shouldn't underestimate Tyson just because of his age. He's in savage mode, Rogan said. If I was Jake Paul right now, I would be wetting my pants. It's all the experiences that he has had as a conqueror. You have to take those into consideration. When a man has smashed men before, just smashed men like when no one can stand in front of him, that is in his mind. Rogan has every reason to believe that Tyson will win against Jake Paul. That fierce sight of Tyson is still there. He has a dark place in his mind he can tap into, and I think he's tapped into it again. The real question is if his body can keep up. But that mindset of his is still terrifying when he's focused, Rogan said. Out of their highly anticipated boxing showdown on Netflix this summer, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson faced off in New York City for the first leg of their press tour. The event quickly turned into a spectacle with questions flying about Tyson's age and physical condition at 58. Many were skeptical about whether Tyson could still hold his own in the ring against a younger opponent like Jake Paul. Tyson, known for his larger than life personality and quick wit, had the perfect response when asked about his age and whether his body could still handle the rigors of a boxing match. I am beautiful. The conference also gave some spotlight to Jake Paul. Even though a lot of people are criticizing him for fighting Tyson, he believes that he has an edge, and that is he hits harder. Paul said, I know what people are saying, 
They think I'm crazy for challenging Mike Tyson. They say I don't have what it takes, that I'm just a YouTuber trying to play boxer. But I've been training hard, and I believe in my abilities. I've got the strength, I've got the speed, and I've got the determination. When it comes to hitting hard, I don't think Tyson is ready for what I've got. Eventually, as the two talked it out in the press conference, the atmosphere somehow shifted. Despite the tension and the competitive edge that defined the event, there was a moment of unexpected camaraderie when Mike Tyson expressed a surprising sentiment. It takes guts to do what he's doing. Tyson continued, Not everyone would have the courage to face me, especially given our different backgrounds and the skepticism surrounding his boxing career. But Jake is here, ready to prove himself, and I respect that. After the press conference, loads of fans jumped on social media to check out the training video Mike Tyson dropped. They were hyped to see him punching pads, moving around the ring. It got people talking big time, with many saying that Tyson's going to wreck Jake Paul when their fight comes. On social media, members of the combat sports community swiftly shared their opinions on Tyson's recent training video. Many expressed concern about the video's brief duration, questioning Tyson's endurance for an entire fight. Some speculated that the short clip might indicate Tyson's struggle to maintain his stamina, raising doubts about his ability to compete against Jake Paul despite his renowned skills. Although there are doubts and uncertainties from the people, Joe Rogan remains steadfast in his conviction that Tyson will emerge victorious against Jake Paul. Tyson's imposing physical stature alone is formidable enough to dominate the ring, overshadowing Jake Paul's own size. Yet it's not just Tyson's sheer size that gives him the edge. His immense power and Han's skills further solidify Rogan's confidence in his triumph. In Rogan's eyes, Tyson's boxing prowess is undeniable, capable of delivering devastating blows that could easily overpower Jake Paul. With Tyson's experience and reputation preceding him, Rogan sees him as a force to be reckoned with. When their fight comes, he will assert his dominance and secure a resounding victory in the ring. So what are your thoughts on this? Should Jake Paul cancel his fight against Mike Tyson? Please share your thoughts down below.